Hey guys, it's Josh. I'm back again with another Apex Legends video. Today, I'm gonna talk about Horizon, and I think I just found my favorite character in the game. Uh, the whole purpose here is for me to give you guys new scenarios, tips and tricks on how to use her better, just like I've done with other legends. So let's cut to the chase, and let's just talk about it. So we're landing. We're about to get really aggressive, uh, show you guys some triple take action, and a scenario that's gonna work for you guys in the game. So pick up the triple take. That can serve as a shoddy. Helping out. Here goes another guy. Take her out. And let me show you the scenario of her tactical. So it's not really in real scenario, but there is a good example later down in the video. But the whole point that you want to throw that tactical by the door is to create a barricade. So the reason why you want to do this is because during tight situations, you want to create a blockage of entry. If there's an enemy outside, let's say there's someone up here, they're like, hey, Josh, I see you. You know, I'm outside. You know what I mean? They're going to want to come in. Well, they're not going to because they're going to obviously float to the top. Uh, I know my drawing skills are sucky, but they're going to float to the top. They're not going to be able to come through. That's the reason why you use it. The same way you guys use caustic traps, you use Watson fences, uh, Octane's uh, jumper thingy. That's the whole point to kind of not allow them to come through because the only entry point that they have is the door on the other side or downstairs. Now, this doesn't last very long. I get that, guys. But when you guys are in a pinch, this is a good play to have. So it's just a scenario. And let's talk about another scenario, which I'll have multiple in this video to give you guys real life examples. So let's continue playing this through and see the next scenario, which I think is going to be her ultimate ability. So in this scenario, not executed properly on my end, but I chucked that ability very far, thinking that they were out there. So keep in mind, guys, that the ability when you chuck it out is like a grenade. You can chuck it out very far or very near. But remember, guys, do redeem yourselves when you guys mess up, which I'll do right now. Picking up that L star, my favorite weapon. Let's see what I can do. I'm low on health. You know what? I'm going to go Rambo. I'm going to get one for the team. There goes, I think, Wraith. Switch. Come on. Now, here is a good example where I'm going to use the tactical. As you can see, my health is low. Look at the lower uh, left-hand side bottom. My health bar is low. I'm going to check out my tactical to beat the ring from closing. You see that? I get the little boost. Slide. So that right there is a good example. And let me pause that real quick. When you guys are up in the air, you guys already know this, but when I'm shooting up and I'm up in the air and then once I'm landing to the ground, make sure you guys slide. It will automatically, you know, play to your benefit because you're moving in motion from just coming down. Obviously, she doesn't take that um, that hit fall that slows her down. That's her passive, but just slide because that's going to make you guys move faster in the game, be fluid. And that was a good example right there that I showed you on that past segment. So there's another snack segment that I'm going to show you guys in the game. Got the L-Star. Same game. But here, the beauty of using Horizon's tactical is obviously we saw one scenario, right? We saw the second scenario of getting out the ring. This is the third one. And I'll explain what it is. So I check it out. Why did I do this? Because I'm trying to get the high ground but also get a viewpoint of what's in front of me. Um, you're playing against a sweaty squad. They're obviously in this vicinity. I'm trying to see where they're coming from. At the same time, land in this area to kind of flank them. So you're kind of juxing the players with Horizon's ability, which is awesome. Uh, the fact that it redeems itself very quickly, I think about 15 seconds, that's very fast. Um, so let's show you guys this gameplay and what I do here. This is all the same uh, gameplay just cut in between parts. So we get down. Got the L star. Reload. This guy gets angry. Our teammate, he just leaves the game. There goes Bloodhound. Use the ability ultimate. Sucking him in. He's pushing away. He's running away. So remember, guys, when you guys are using the ultimate ability of Horizon, when they're actually getting sucked in by that black wall, most of the players are trying to jump out. So that's a action that they're making, not really focusing on their aim, which gives you the ability to knock them out easily. So keep in mind, guys, that's the beauty 
of Horizon's ultimate. One, the tactical, two, the ultimate, and her passive, uh, making her a very, very impressive player. So I think this segment ends. We go to the next one. Just team up with my teammate, Revive, and I think we go and cut into the next part. So let's see what happens next. Uh, overall, I'm very impressed with her style of play, and I'm just having a lot of fun. Uh, it reminds me of like Bloodhound, just having fun and uh, not worrying about what's going to happen next. So here, I'm going to show you guys some Volt action. Now, the Volt is my favorite weapon. One of my favorite weapons, but it just shreds. I had to put that in there, guys. I had to put that in there. Nothing about Horizon, just about the Volt. So if you guys see the Volt, pick it up, please. I'll help you guys. Now, I'll have another segment. Same gameplay. So here, we're getting to the top. Now remember, I'm using the ultimate. Chuck it down. Get those suckers in. Bloodhound's outside, he can't see his teammate. Switch, remember, low on ammo, hemlock. Clean it up. Don't give him that chance to revive. So now you're seeing, you know, kind of like the fundamentals, but now we're getting to full gameplay of a good scenario for Horizon. Now I gave you some cuts before right which is like multiple games i think it was about two or three different games this one is a full game i'm going to cut through and cut to the chase but if i could tell you guys some quick tips is make sure you guys have a long range weapon and make sure you guys have a mid-range weapon like a r301 and triple take these two guns will take you far and i'm lucky enough to have those two from the start and i'll show you guys why so again guys be very quick in terms of getting all the items that you guys need. And if you guys have a headset, you guys already have an upside against, you know, teams that don't have it, like your enemies that don't use it. They use their TV audio. So I'm waiting, I hear footsteps. On top side, my teammate's gonna take down the opponent. I'm checking out the ability. I mess up there, don't worry about it. I'll redeem myself. Let's go around and find a great way to find the next person. Now I'm keeping it here because there's a lot of action here that happens. And then I'll obviously move it forward as I need to. Teammates getting shot. I jump down. R301. Potato shots, I know. Here we go. Triple take. Hit fire. Almost. One more shot. There we go. Now our teammate left. I don't know if they just logged out, maybe internet connection. Now it's just me and my teammate. My teammate at the beginning sucked because I think he was just being very aggressive and wanted to get his stuff. But we do play pretty well together and let me fast forward because right now it gets really boring. But I will say Horizon is a lot of fun. Um, I didn't think she would be this fun uh, I remember when Loba came out, I thought she was like pretty sick and everything. Uh, and then eventually her her ability just became boring after a while. Um, and then the same thing I could say for maybe Octane, but Octane he's all right. Uh, Caustic, I love Caustic. I love Revenant. Um, I still need to pick up Rampart. I think she can be pretty insane in terms of her aggressive plays. Uh, both of Horizon, her ability to just fly up and then slide down not it not even take any like downfall damage not to say you guys do but you know what i mean like it slows you down and then her ultimate which is like checking out this black hole that sucks you in that's pretty dope uh because if you have like grenades a strong weapon like a spitfire you could pretty much wipe out the team but yeah she's a lot of fun she reminds me of like bloodhound caustic uh style of play like it's just fun and uh nothing to take too serious so there's nothing here let me fast forward and get to the point of the game to give you guys some good scenarios of what I'm doing, how I'm achieving this. So here, this is what I mean about having a headset, guys. You don't need to have an expensive one. You guys can get, you know, the Apple headphones, even regular headphones, or maybe a 20 buck headset. If you guys can hear movement, like right now there's like movement of someone walking down below. We know someone's below this bridge. We just don't know where. Obviously, we can't see through. If we have Bloodhound, we could. But this is where you can take yourself and your game to the next level. Because if you're using TV audio, 
it's very hard for you guys to notice these sounds unless you have your TV super loud and even then you can't really notice it as clean as having a headset. So I jump down. I don't take any downfall damage, obviously, but I see Pathy. I almost get him, but it's okay. I'm pinging to my teammate, letting them know that they're right here. And now I'm trying to see where I can find them. Now I made the mistake of maybe aiming lower, but again, it's all about redemption. I do see an enemy up top shooting from that hilltop. So that's the beauty of you having a sniper because you can trade too. They want to shoot, I can shoot too. The teammate says we could hide behind this area. Now guys, if you guys did not know this, this is a good hiding spot for those third party plays or just waiting it out so you can be the last team standing. I didn't know about this part, especially this area, like this wall. I knew about this like underground bridge thingy right here that we're at, but I didn't know about this like wall that's like kind of like hidden. So nothing happens here. We're waiting it out. Very boring stuff. I'm more, let's get to the action. Teammate connects, makes a connection for me to get to the other side. I see the sniper. I switch to my triple take. Line up the shots. Take your time. There we go. Again, the reason why I love triple take. Now I'm playing aggressive. I'm like, you know what, dude? I'm tired of just waiting it out. I'm going to switch to my R301 and duke it out. I get to the top. Obviously, he jumped down. He has his friend sniping me from a distance. So one of the advantages of you guys being like at a high point is that you guys can look around. So remember... Keep your eyes peeled. Look around. If you guys see any movement of any kind, call it out. Trying to get my shots. Step down. Again, I have the rocks. I have the environment as my protection. And getting back to 100%. Just in case, because you just don't want to be in that situation where you're low on health. So we're camping it out. I do see some enemies coming from the backside, but this is where having a good play call or a high IQ play, or even having a good team that says, you know what, let's not worry about it. Let's wait it out. Comes into fruition in terms of like helping you out and win these games because we could go out and take down these opponents. But again, if you're doing that, the probability of you guys getting third party is very high. Knowing that the circle is closing and closing smaller and smaller and you know enemies that want to rack up kills their damage they're going to go for it so we do see them as you can see i see them jumping down over that fence so yeah it's not worth it um you could do some trades here and there you know of damage but it's not a good play and i agree with them it's not a good play to go for unless we had another teammate remember we're playing duos because we lost our guy at the beginning So now what we're going to do is actually move forward um, and play this a little bit more aggressive. See what we can find. Now it seems like that team back there is the only one at that far side with us. So we could go for it, but I'd rather not. It just wouldn't make any sense. Because then we're going to be kind of like pinched against that wall. There goes Horizon. I'm waiting it out. There we go. Another shot. Oh. Teammate downer, good play. All right, let's keep moving. Remember, we can't really go back because the ring's gonna close uh, against us. So we have to either move to the next ring closure or go after the opponents, but I'd rather us wait it out. Because we are a man down. So now it's three. Exactly. He said, let's wait it out. Let them kill each other. Now we can go. Because we don't really have somebody else. So now it's like, it's 
two versus three. He's like, do you have your alt? I have it. Yes, sir, I have it. Yes. So I'm gonna use, oh, oh, I messed up there. Almost got her. Getting them weak. Oh, I could have gotten it right there. See these in a good moment. I think they're below me. 10 seconds. Let's get to the ring. We don't even know who we're going up against. If it's a full squad, maybe two, maybe one person. But let's get the, uh, let's get to the ring. Get the viewpoint and see what we can do here. Now, this is where her ability comes into clutch. That being Horizon. Her tactical and her ultimate. So I'm waiting. I'm trying to see where they're coming from. They do come from the right side. They're taking the, um, the indoor building to my right. But I think I was thinking maybe mid to the left. They're moving, they're moving. They probably went to the outside. We're waiting it out. They hear him. Okay, they're inside. Now, get my ultimate out. The beauty. Chuck it in. They get sucked in. Keep shooting mid. There we go. Clean it up. Okay, I'm gonna check out my tactical. There we go, I'm blocking the door to save me time to like heal up. A really good critical play because Wraith could have pushed through. Go above the building, get that height advantage. Teammate is going 1v1. I'm stepping in. Okay, he says she's cracked. All right, go to the left. Some potato shots, as you guys know. Oh, I got something. Hey, I got something, guys. I got probably like two shots. And there we go, guys. Horizon, I am winning games like left and right. Not all the games, but it's very easy compared to season six and five. I think me just not playing this game for a while has uh, made me appreciate it even more. Let me stop this real quick. But yeah, like Horizon... I know Bloodhound, Revenant, I get close on winning, but I, I haven't gotten close yet to win with him in this season. But Horizon is just, I don't know, like it's very easy. And I think because the map, I think because of the guns. Now that was World's Edge, which is an old map, but I don't know, I just feel different in terms of just playing this game through. I know it's not ranked, it's casual gameplay. Um, you know, I'll probably do some ranked videos, but I, I just don't like it, it just gets too sweaty. I like to have fun great good content but hopefully the scenarios at the beginning with horizon and the full footage of this gameplay helps you guys understand on how to play this character better on how her tactical can be a deterrent on her ultimate obviously being op and then her passive just super cool when you fall down you can just keep moving or slide um but yeah hopefully you guys like this video uh please like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts on horizon any other Things you guys want to know about Apex, comment below. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll catch you guys until the next one. Later.